This is code.org. And let's practice declaring and initializing some variables. I want to see if this does anything. It doesn't look like it, but let's hit run. There's code. Uh, no, it did nothing. Okay, well, that was uneventful. All right, in my console.java, yep, this file, declare and initialize a variable called my integer to store the value 15. Now, if you're worried about some of these terms, terms keep in mind we have access to all of this right tons of resources on code.org lesson resources initialize giving a starting value to a variable using the equals operator okay so we need to give it a value so we're going to declare it which we already know what that means right we have to say and what do we want an integer so for my integer well we know that's an int right so my int int my integer that's the declaration right declare and initialize declare giving a name and a data value to a variable Ooh, a data type to a variable yeah that would make sense so declaring it is giving it its name and its data type that's this we just declared it right what's its name my integer what's its type int now if we were going to define it or initialize it we have to give it a value and that's what this step is and they're asking us to do that and we need to initialize it to be 15. Cool, equals 15. That's its initialization value, initial value. Declare and initialize, ooh, there's our words again. And again, we have access to all of these resources they give us. So declaration, giving a name and a data type. What's the data type for this one? My double, okay, so it's gonna be a double. So that's right here. Oh, and it tells us, yep. So we're gonna do, double my double and what's its value 4.75 and what is that so declare my double initialize oh initialize giving a starting value of equals yep done and done okay now three declare and initialize our terms again a variable called my string to reference the string hello world so i know declare and initialize reference huh what's that Reference. Oh, look, a reference, a data type that contains a pointer to a memory location. Okay, so it's interesting that they're using that. And again, guys, use your resources. This is right here. You can click on Lessons Resources. How did you get there, Mr. Kaiser? Click, pata, Lessons Resources. And all of those weird terms that they're using that I'm really hoping aren't that weird because we're going to be using them throughout are right there. We can access them. We can kind of decipher what they're saying, even when I forget because... I'm a human. So string my string equals hello world. And I'm going to type this exactly because code is picky. And if you're worried, you could always, you know, highlight, copy, and paste. But it's good practice. Okay. Use system.out.print. And then ln, guys, secret, not a secret, stands for line. So print line to print the value of each variable. Okay. So, and that is step four. Oh, look, they even have this here. Cool. And how do they want it to look? My integer, my double. Okay, well, so I might try to do something like this, and I want to point this out. This is not actually the full thing here, especially since they give us the example. So my integer, and let me hit print and show you. Right? And that just gives me 15. Look at their example, my integer. Well, how are they doing that? Well, it's like we've seen in the previous examples. They are putting a string value right here. So they're hard coding, this would be called right there just like that and if you're not sure go back and look at the examples from one and part two tons of resources again now make sure you're actually having it print these values don't just put in quotes this stuff and be like it's done it's not done this is printing the name of the variable, and that's fine. I hard-coded that. Uh, but this is actually going, and the computer says, what is my integer? This, the computer just spits onto the screen. It sees quotes and it's a splat. This, and let's see. This, the computer noticed, but ah, says, what in the world is my int? This plus, I have to slap something into this. What is this? And it has to go hunt for it. It's going, ooh, I don't know, I don't know, smack. Oh, 15. And it then fills in 15 here, 
This plus doesn't show up, that's part of the code. What does though is this space and then the 15, right? Because that's the actual value here. Now, without this, right, the space I'm putting in there myself, you have to tell computers every little thing. Boom, boom, you can see, right? And each time my double, what's that? Oh, it's this, what's this? Boom, and it has to go and grab it each time. Cool, looks good. Onward.